Krabi, how do you build your brand in China? Do you like when we break your legs open and do more of like a suck out? Or do you prefer the kind of fork digging in? We'll talk to you later. We're here with Krabby the Crab selling into China. Welcome to Getting to Global. We're here in Detroit, Michigan at Alibaba's Gateway 17, talking about the China opportunity. What can an SMB do to enter the China market through e-commerce? Let's check out some statistics. This is all the product Chinese are buying from overseas. They're gonna buy six times as much between 2015 and 2020. Online shoppers, three times the number of online shoppers in the US. Not only a large population, but a larger percentage of them online. 60 cents of every dollar spent online globally is gonna be coming from Chinese consumers. That's not just in China, that's them buying cross-border everywhere in the world. Why is this happening? Not just a, a rising middle class that desires overseas product. It's also part of a deliberate plan by the leadership in China to give access to people throughout China to the global products. Who is the Chinese consumer? 24 to 32 year olds. Here are some photos of them. This young girl's waiting for a package from her boyfriend. It's probably cosmetics coming from a US company, which tells her her boyfriend not only cares about her looks, but cares about the quality of her products. This young man is about to meet his father-in-law the first time after they got, he got married to his daughter last month. He wants to say to his father-in-law, I am an international man, I will grow with your daughter. I buy international products. Maybe it's a, a nice sweatshirt from the US designed in Brooklyn. Maybe it's some sneakers that are coming from a new niche outlet in San Francisco. The young student. All the aspirations in the world and what better to give that person than US products. Favorite imported products from Chinese consumers. We've got apparel, accessories, and footwear. Beauty and skincare, baby maternity, food and beverage. These are not real apples, by the way. 37% of all retail in China by 2020 is gonna be in e-commerce. If you can't sell your product on a mobile phone to somebody with one hand while holding onto the Metro pole, you're missing an opportunity. The Chinese middle class population by 2022 will be twice the size of the entire population of the United States. That's a huge middle class. But when you look at the numbers, you'll see their total income is certainly far lower than the middle class income in the US. Now why are we so interested? Because they're not spending on education, they're not spending on medical bills. They're probably living at their family's home. So all of that income is expendable. It's not how much they have, it's how much they spend on your products. 